Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I've got something really important for you. Whether you're a longtime subscriber or just stumbled upon my channel, I want to express my gratitude for your support and for joining me on this journey. So without further delay, let's get into the fascinating world of blood flow in the human body. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like share, or leave a comment to stay updated on all my future content. All right, let's get this started. Now, let's dive into the mesmerizing world of blood flow simulations. Have you ever wondered how blood moves through our circulatory system? Well, it's a complex process that involves mathematical modeling and simulations to understand and analyze the intricate dynamics at play. The circulatory system is composed of the heart, blood vessels, and blood itself. Its primary function is to transport oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and waste products throughout our entire body. It's truly a remarkable system. In the circulatory system, the heart acts as a powerful pump that pushes blood through the blood vessels, supplying oxygen and vital nutrients to all the tissues and organs in our body. The heart muscles contract and relax, creating pressure, gradients that propel blood through the arteries, capillaries, and veins. As blood travels through our body, it not only delivers oxygen and nutrients, but also picks up waste products and carbon dioxide from the tissues. This is where the cleaning and oxygenation process comes into play. When blood returns to the heart, it enters the right atrium from the body's systemic circulation and flows into the right ventricle. From there, it is pumped to the lungs to pick up oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The oxygenated blood then returns to the heart, entering the left atrium and flowing into the left ventricle. Finally, the left ventricle pumps the oxygen-rich blood back out to the body's systemic circulation, completing the cycle. But how does the blood get cleaned and oxygenated in the heart? Well, it involves a remarkable exchange of gases in the lungs during respiration, where oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released. Additionally, waste products are removed by our kidneys and liver, contributing to the cleaning process. It's a well-orchestrated symphony happening inside our body. The heart plays a vital role in ensuring that blood circulates properly, providing oxygen and nutrients to all our tissues and organs. It's the conductor of this intricate orchestra, maintaining our health and well-being. The simulation of blood flow in the human body is a challenging task that requires considering various factors such as the elasticity and diameter of blood vessels, the viscosity of blood, and the cardiac cycle. Computational fluid dynamics, CFD, techniques are often employed to accurately model the movement of blood throughout our body and provide valuable insights into how blood flow can be affected by different conditions or diseases. Understanding these dynamic processes not only helps us gain insights into the functioning of our bodies, but also enables medical professionals to diagnose and treat various cardiovascular disorders with more precision. In conclusion, the simulation of blood flow in the human body and the cleaning process orchestrated by our incredible heart are truly awe-inspiring. They represent a complex and dynamic system that is vital for maintaining our health and well-being. Thank you all for joining me today on this enlightening journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share, or leave a comment to stay updated on all my future content. Until next time.